How many of you have wondered any time in your life training with Bella? Well, today I'm in Abu Dhabi in the Ritz Carlton Emirates Paddle by Bella. That means that every coach here has been coached to follow the same methodology that Bella has followed in his career and that made him to be the number one 16 years in a row. So today I'm not alone, I'm with Navid. So please nice present to yourself you. to the camera. How are you everyone? I'm Navid. Uh, I'm coming from Spain and I'm here the manager and the head coach of the Emirates Paddle Center in the Ritz Carlton Hotel. So my plan today is trying to copy or at least to learn something about Bella's bandeja. Do you okay. think it's possible? I think it's possible, okay, to improve your bandeja, but you know, the Bella bandeja is Bella bandeja. He is the only one that can make this bandeja. But I think training here down the uh, methodology of Bella, you can improve your bandeja a lot. So let's go to the court. Let's go. Okay, ready, Pablo? Try to, try to show me your real bandeja, okay? Perfect. Okay. Nice one. Okay, nice. Try to recover your position. Okay. Good. Recover. Okay, one more. Okay, enough. Okay, I saw, okay, one problem with your body position. The thing is, after the bandeja, what you should go, uh, do? Go to the net. Recover your position, right? Yeah. So the thing is, now, after hitting your bandeja, okay, I see you that you are going to the oppos opposite direction. There. Yes, you are going there. So try, after the shot, try to follow the ball to the same direction, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, stop. The thing is, I want to play a shorter lob to see your bandeja without the jump. Okay. First, I want to fix your bandeja without the jump. And then, we can fix the bandeja after the jump. Also, okay, you need to think about that you have to use your balance when you play the bandeja, right? Because if you use your balance, you are able to go forward. But now, this leg, you are going up with this leg. So like this, you are losing your balance. So try to have both legs on the floor and push into the ground, okay? And then go forward. Good, let's try it. Five balls more, okay? Okay. One more. Good. Try to show me how are you hitting the ball with your body position, yes. Try to show me your body. Okay. You think you are like that before hitting? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Like this, if you are like this, you are able to go forward after the ball. Perfect, right? I, I'm not doing it. No, the thing is, you are preparing like this, but before hitting, because the ball is here, you need more distance, right? So you are removing this leg to have this distance. So try to give more distance in advance to hit it here and then try to go forward. Perfect. Okay. Focus on your legs. Okay. Try to more focus on your legs. This one I like the body. This one I like it. Good. This one I like it. Okay. Try to play soft, there is a bandeja, right? Also, when you are recovering your position, okay, you are very close to the net, okay? Try to recover to the normal position. Where is your position? My position should be somewhere here, I think. Okay, so I will put these stickers here. Okay. To help you, okay, to recover your position, okay? okay. Good. Okay. Remember to have both legs on the floor to be able to push forward, okay? Okay. Turn your body. Okay. Try to be more focused on your legs. This one I like it. Sorry, the wind. Prepare. Okay. Okay, Pablo. Yes. 
Tell you me. feel that the ball is moving a lot in the air because ah. it's very windy today, right? Maybe people cannot see it or yes. feel it, but it's super hot here. Okay. Well, you can see it on my face, but also it's super windy and the ball is moving a lot when I'm going to prepare the shoe. So it's very difficult for me like to prepare and give room or space yeah. to the ball because the ball is moving. So I don't know if I should be here or, one, or make one step back or I don't know. Okay, so what do you think could be a good solution to fix that? Probably to like be more calm and okay. relax the speed. Because you see that you are not able to push a lot of the bandeja. So if you are playing with a windy uh, situation, try to slow down the bandeja and try to play more safe. And also, if you prepare too long, when you hit the ball, the, bo the ball moved a lot because of the wind. So try to prepare also a little bit shorter. Okay, okay? you want to try it? Yeah. Let's try it, okay? Okay, try to be more focused on the steps, okay, and prepare shorter. Okay, no worries. Okay. Okay, try to prepare shorter. Good one. This one I like it. Try to feel try to feel also, okay, that you are pushing forward like this. Okay? You need to lean forward after the shot, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Good. David, I think. I cannot suffer more hot here. So for this first episode, I think it's enough. Okay. I don't know how well I did it or bad, but for the first episode, I think it's, it's enough. I don't know if the people behind the screen can learn something. I hope so. So if you have learned something, please hit the button off, yes. subscribe. And see you here at Emirates Paddle in, the, in Abu Dhabi, Ritz Carlton, and be, be ready for the second episode. Thank you so much for coming.